And in our top business story, the government has lifted the restriction on foreign ownership of Etisalat shares, opening up the country's biggest publicly traded company to overseas investors for the first time. The landmark decision is the culmination of years of talks and will allow as much as 20% of the telecoms company to be owned by foreign investors. The government would, would retain its 60% shareholding in the operator and has no plans to reduce its stake, according to a statement from Etisalat, who added that additional information will be provided to ADX once received from the proper authorities. The company's shares, which have risen about 20% this year, were suspended from trade yesterday morning in the run-up to the announcement. In addition to its UAE operations, Etisalat has a footprint in 19 countries across the Middle East, Asia and Africa, including Egypt and Saudi Arabia, Morocco and Nigeria. The operator posted revenue of 12.9 billion dirhams for the first three months of the year, up 30% on 2014. Global ports operator DP World has listed a $500 million conventional bond on Nasdaq Dubai, taking the total nominal value of conventional bonds on Dubai's exchanges to $11.82 billion. DP World's chairman Sultan Ahmed bin Sulaim rang the market opening bell to celebrate the listing and stated that Nasdaq Dubai is the ideal listing venue to support the company's visibility as it expands its business activities worldwide. The bond is the third debt issuance that has been listed by DP World on Nasdaq Dubai following a $1.5 billion Sukuk and a $1.75 billion conventional bond that both listed in 2007. DP World listed its shares on the exchange in the same year. Commenting on the listing, Mohammad Sharaf, the group chief executive of DP World, was quoted as saying that the bond issue has been received positively by the market, being six times oversubscribed and sold to investors across the US, Europe and the Middle East. Abu Dhabi Airport's company ADAC is in talks to build a new airport in the Seychelles as the UAE strengthens its commercial ties with the country. According to a local report, the Seychelles president was quoted as saying that the country was negotiating to construct a new airport in Victoria near the existing facility. The report stated that an official confirmed that Abu Dhabi Airport was in negotiations over the contract, but added that the company is not in a position to disclose further details at this stage, but believes that such a venture will further strengthen the ties between the government of Abu Dhabi and the Republic of Seychelles. Etihad Airways originally announced plans to invest in Air Seychelles in January 2012 and has since increased code share ties with the carrier. In 2012, Etihad took a 40% stake in Air Seychelles in a deal worth $45 million. The airline has since turned a profit for two consecutive years. Air Seychelles reported a $3.2 million profit last year, an increase of a 6.6% year on year. And Tourism Australia and Etihad Airways have deepened their commercial partnership by signing a five-year, $30 million, $30 million Australian dollar marketing deal to promote Australia to leisure and business travellers in key overseas markets. The new Memorandum of Understanding extends an existing three-year deal worth $12 million Australian dollars, which expires this year. In addition, the government the agreement will cover targeted support for Tourism Australia's trade and business events program, including continued support for Dreamtime. The airline will also provide international tickets for media, trade and business event familiarisation programs. Tourism Australia and Etihad Airways formalised their commercial partnership in November 2012 and have worked together on a number of key joint marketing activities since then.